simple roasted vegetable meal along with a, a saute dish of vegetables. Everything is going to be vegetarian, it's going to be vegan and allergy friendly, healthy and pretty quick and easy to make. So what I have here is I have sweet potatoes sliced up. It's one sweet potato that I sliced up. This is about a pound, a bag of baby new potatoes that I cut up and about two parsnips that I had left, left in the refrigerator that I wanted to use that I sliced up and I'm gonna roast these together. And I also have cauliflower. I bought it at a supermarket where it comes in a package already cut and rinsed. That's easy, two packages. And this is squash, also cut up two packages and I rinsed these and I rinsed the potatoes and the parsnips. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix everything with olive oil and salt and pepper and some fresh garlic that I chopped up. This is actually, this amount of garlic is probably two big bulbs and I just chopped it up and I'm gonna use it for these five um, ingredients but I'm also gonna do some mushrooms. I'm gonna make some mushrooms and I'm gonna saute. And so I'm gonna use some of the garlic for that. So I'm gonna kind of just sprinkle it on. So I'm gonna sprinkle some garlic on the potatoes. I would say this is about, I would say two tablespoons full. And I'm gonna put about one tablespoon on the parsnips, two tablespoons on the potatoes. I'm gonna put maybe just also one tablespoon on the sweet potatoes. The garlic, I'm gonna put about three tablespoons of chopped up garlic. And the same, about three tablespoons in the squash. I'm gonna roast all these vegetables except for the mushrooms I'm gonna saute. And I am going to make a soup out of the squash. So the cauliflower and the potatoes and the sweet potatoes and the parsnips are gonna be roasted, but I'm gonna make an actual soup out of the squash. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sprinkle some olive oil on the different foods. I wanna say about two tablespoons on the potatoes, put a tablespoon in the parsnips, about two tablespoons in the sweet potatoes, maybe about three tablespoons in the squash. Probably about three tablespoons to be generous in the cauliflower. And then I'm going to just mix it up. And you can use your hands. You can also use a spoon, big spoon, big fork. I think the hands are probably the easiest. So I'm going to sprinkle the potatoes on the roasting pan. Get all the garlic and oil. Mix the parsnips and also put these on the cookie sheet. So basically I have two cookie sheets, I line them with foil, and I'm gonna put the parsnips, all the oil and the garlic. Now mixing the sweet potatoes with the oil and the garlic, and I'm gonna spread this out here. So cover it up so that it all gets cooked evenly with all the garlic and oil. Now I'm gonna mix the cauliflower with the olive oil garlic. Okay, now I'm going to put the cauliflower on the sheet. Now I think that I'm not going to have enough room for all the vegetables. I might have to get another pan to put the um, squash. So I'll do my best to kind of put everything out here. So I'm going to put all the cauliflower and the garlic and the olive oil. So I'm just mixing the squash with the olive oil and the garlic. I'm going to roast this. I can make a vegan squash soup. I'm going to pour it onto the roasting pan so it won't roast. Let's see if I can make some more. Maybe we can squeeze it all in too. We'll see. Yeah, I think we're going to be able to actually. Season as a taste and some pepper. Okay. And then I'm going to put it in the oven on 375. And I'm going to put it for 
20 minutes and I'll check back, but it's probably gonna be 20 minutes to 45 minutes. So let's try 20 minutes and see how it does. is a sauteed mushroom dish. I'm just gonna make it with olive oil and balsamic vinegar, about two tablespoons of garlic that I chopped up, and parsley I chopped up, I would say, probably it's about a half a cup to a cup of parsley. And two packages of mushrooms that I already rinsed and they've just been drying and waiting. So I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm gonna put the mushrooms first. And I'm just gonna saute those for a little bit until they get, you know, almost, not done, but you know, when they're cooking. So this needs a little more olive oil. So I'm gonna put probably another tablespoon to two tablespoons. I have it cooking on medium. And I'm just trying to cook it down a little more. Not fully cooked, maybe halfway cooked. And then I'll add the garlic and the balsamic vinegar, salt, pepper, and at the very end, I'll throw in the parsley. Okay, so I'm gonna put some of the garlic in there now to cook up. And it's probably about like two tablespoons that I chopped up. We'll leave the parsley till the end. I'm gonna season this with a little salt and pepper. Balsamic vinegar is really going to give it a nice flavor. Mushrooms are a great vegetable to cook on a weeknight because they cook up really fast, quick and easy. I'm going to add the balsamic vinegar. I would say that I'm adding maybe two to four tablespoons. And again, you can do it to taste. And I did taste the mushrooms before I put the balsamic vinegar and it actually needs some more, for my taste, it needs some more salt and pepper. So I'm gonna add a little more. You know, salt is one of those ingredients that they really make the dish. <laughs> I try to not use too much, but you really need to use some salt to flavor the food. It definitely tastes better. So you just kind of have to balance it, you know, between not too much salt so it's not unhealthy, but enough salt so that you have a good flavor. Taste. I know I'm going to probably need some more balsamic vinegar, maybe some more olive oil, maybe some more salt, maybe some more pepper. Let's see. It's very good, but it needs more seasoning. So I'm going to put some more balsamic vinegar. Again, I would say two to four tablespoons more. A little more salt, pepper. I'm gonna put a little more olive oil because it's a delicious dish that I wanna have some flavor, the olive oil. So maybe another half a teaspoon, I mean another teaspoon maybe of the olive oil. So I just sprinkled some parsley, about a half a cup to a cup and just stirred it around and my mushroom dish is finished. It's been cooking for 20 minutes and I can tell that it's not ready. Still too hard. So, I'm gonna put it for another 20 minutes. Checking on everything. It's about 35 minutes that it's been cooking on 375, and um, some of the things are done, some are not. So, I also noticed it needs a little more flavor, a little more olive oil. So, I'm gonna put a little more salt and pepper and a little more olive oil. So, a little sprinkle, a little olive oil and everything. A little more salt and pepper. So the potatoes and the parsnips, the sweet potatoes, they are pretty much done. I'm gonna leave them in for another five minutes. And I'm gonna put some more olive oil, and salt and pepper, on the broccoli, I mean, sorry, the cauliflower, and the squash. Some pepper. So I think it needs a little more seasoning. Okay. I'm gonna put the time.
timer for another 10 minutes. I'm sorry about the fan. I think my oven's too hot, so the fan is on. Potatoes out, the parsnips, they're ready. So I'm just going to set these aside over here. And I'm going to let the squash and cauliflower cook another five minutes or so. Even, even that, I might need to put more. So, so far it's been cooking 35 plus five minutes, so 40 minutes for the potatoes and the sweet potatoes and the parsnips. And the cauliflower and squash has been cooking when we're done for about 45 minutes. I actually may put it on for another five or 10 minutes. I'll keep you posted. I'm gonna take the cauliflower and the squash out. And they have been cooking for about 45 minutes. And the potatoes and parsnips about 40 minutes, 35 to 40 minutes. And I sprinkled a little bit of extra olive oil on the potatoes and parsnips and a little extra salt and pepper. And I'm gonna do the same with the cauliflower and the squash. Now, the squash are still not done. It's probably because I piled it up, but I'm gonna do a little trick. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in the pot that I'm gonna make the soup and I'm gonna put some water. So we'll cook it some more to make it soft. And basically I'm just gonna add water I'm going to add nutmeg, salt and pepper, and then I'm going to blend it to make a little puree soup. Squash into a pot. I'm going to add some water and cover it. Put it on high and then lower it. I'm going to add a little water, maybe a cup. And I'm going to stir it around a little bit. Put it on high. So this was boiling and I just turned it down to medium low so that it softens up. Actually, I think I'm going to put a little more water. Actually, I think it needs a little more. So, maybe another cup. So, I'll probably put a cup and a half of water. I'm just going to mix it up. And that's going to be my base for the, um, the squash it up to high so that the water boils again. And then I'll stir it up a little. I'll cover it and I'll lower it again to like medium low. It's almost soft enough, but it is soft enough. So I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of nutmeg. Maybe that's about a teaspoon. And I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper. Just a little pepper. A little salt to taste. And stir it around a little bit. Definitely soft enough to make our soup. This is a nice item to have. It's a handheld blender. And I'm just going to try to blend it with the squash and the water together in the pot and cook it. So we're going to add a little water, a little more water. I would say a half a cup of water to a water until you get the right consistency. And I'm going to definitely have to add some more salt and pepper, I have a feeling. So as I said, it definitely needs more seasoning. So I'm going to sprinkle some more salt, maybe a teaspoon, some more pepper. And I'm going to put a little more nutmeg. You can just add as much as you want to taste. Just so sprinkle a little bit. And I'm going to mix it around some more. Make it been on medium low heat. That way the salt and the pepper and the nut may cook into the squash. So you have a nice butternut squash soup. Very creamy and delicious. Thank you for watching the video about how to make a vegan meal that's allergy friendly. I hope you enjoyed this and learned how to make a simple, healthy, vegan meal that is allergy friendly. Comment down below if this video was helpful and if you have any requests. Like and subscribe if you'd like to join us on our journey through food allergy friendly cooking. Good night!